Good morning, my warriors. Welcome to Miss Trezina's Lifetime Story, Chapter 14. Living my everyday life. Well, I decided it's been a while, so I need to come and talk to y'all. Um... I still work. I work about 10 hours a day because I work through my lunch. Um, I'm going to have a LS appointment next week. So I will come to y'all with chapter 15. But the challenge of ALS is hard okay it gets to the point where you need help a lot I need help getting on the bed meaning I can sit on the bed but bringing my feet up I do have this thing that helps you but taking off my shoes and socks is hard and Sometimes when I'm laying on the bed, it's a challenge to pull myself up. But I'm hanging in there. All right here, y'all see, it's so dry. When I put the mask over my nose and mouth, it just dry me out <clears throat> really bad. And, you know, all I have time to do is get up, get myself together in the bathroom, and get back to the room to put my shoes and socks on, and head in the living room, or should I say the dining room, where I'll park my night rider. I'm going to show it to y'all. So, it's just right now, it'll be a challenge. But, if you have ALS, they say it takes a village to raise a child. With ALS, it takes a village. If I had my way, I would be in that work, I won't need three nurses, but I'm looking at when I get home, I need someone to help me get myself tidied up and get my, you know, pajamas on. I also need someone to help me. Um, Well, I want to go back to cooking normally by meal prepping. And then my husband can do that. But it's like my husband has his own problem. And he's so impatient big time. I try to look over it and say it's probably the sickness he going through. Because I look at years ago, he would drop everything to help me. I was I only remember being sick. Like I told y'all, all of this happened. Before C-19, I could do anything. I cook, I clean, I took care of myself. I was able to do my makeup, everything. After C-19, my vision, um, 
Well, first, I noticed my walking had changed. Then my vision acted up. But before then, I was okay. And I tell people, you don't believe me? Go look at my old videos. I look at them and I say, look at where I was and look at where I am now. It is hard. I wake up about 6.15, no, I'm sorry. I wake up at around 5.30 in the morning. My bus be at my house between 6.50 and 7.20, the latest. But as you can see, I come to work about, I be at work at my desk at 7.30. I don't have to start working until 8. That's my clock in time. Um... And then what I do is I get my laptop and I connect it to this big screen on the side of me. And I start off with attendance. And then <clears throat> I do my scanning of documents that came in yesterday. I do my AOBs and checklists. I put them in folders to be filed. Then I'll go through my day. Then my bus come back to get me between 5.30 and 6. I go home. What I would love to do every day when I go home is be able to, you know, do for myself, I have a tub, shower, so stepping over is a challenge. I had the seat that sits there, but it broke some kind of way. My daughter said the way I leaned on it is why I broke. I've been looking to see which other one I can find, but I really need a like a shower without a tub. So, I want to be able to come here and cook me something to eat, go get in bed, watch TV. I want to do it on my own. But it's a challenge. So, if anybody out there with ALS is listening, if you just got it or you just been diagnosed with it, trust me, find a way to get help because you're going to need somebody other than the loved one. Like I say, it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village to help with ALS. It's not a joke. You need somebody to maybe take you to the bank. Right now, until my husband have the cataracts or whatever, glaucoma. So he have his glaucoma surgery, I'd rather not ride with him. But he, we got that truck, and I can't get up there no more. I'm getting ready to sell my car. Or should I say my SUV? And just depending, we may turn around and buy another one. Just so if there's places I need to go, he can take me. Because I need a person to take me to do little financial stuff. Because, um... At the moment, my eyes are not where I want them to be. I mean, yes, I can drive still, but I choose not to. Yeah. So, 
Today is Friday, trust me, when 531 hit, I'm ready to be on my bus, go home, get in bed, and I am going to rest this weekend. Yesterday, I was so tired. But I know I'm all over the place because I'm trying to think as we go. But number one, you need a couple of nurses, or should I say nurse slash sitters, to be with you, to get you together at night. I kind of really need one in the morning where they can be at the house to get me up so they can help me tidy myself or whatever I need to do, because me standing on my own is hard. We do plan on, like, our bedroom was two different bedrooms, but we put them together because it's his situation. And then I, at the time we was thinking about this, my ALS was not even discovered, thought of, or anything. But we need a big room for him. So our master bedroom has a shower, tub, sink, you know, a shower, a sink, and a toilet. So we plan on knocking the wall down to make the master bedroom bathroom and the hallway bathroom connect so it'll be more space. But that's mine. So, mm -hmm. it's a lot. So, like I say, the moral of this, you need a village to help you when you have ALS. Because one person will get tired. I, right now, I have three people helping me. Do I need to give you that look? One of them is my daughter, and she does work at least five days a week. But she complained about the two days she off if she had to help me. And then the other one, I have another sitter. He works a couple of nights a week overnight. And he really don't mind. I mean, I don't ever hear him complain. But then I have my husband. So it's like when you have sitters that your pain, you're not going to ever hear them complain. But when you have a city that you're not paying, that they're supposed to be helping on their own from their heart, <clears throat> if they ain't, a, well, everybody's a child of God, but if they ain't saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, good luck. Because I know my son started off wanting to help me so bad. Now, it's like, to me, I feel he don't want to do it. If I to do stuff, he'll do some stuff, but he'll complain about the other. So it's like, you need a village to help you. Well, it's about time for me to start work. So hopefully, even though I was all over the place, you got a little bit of the information I was trying to give. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a warrior yet, what are you waiting on? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Then hit the notification button to be notified of all videos. Along with you, share this video. Let them know what your girl is doing. Share, comment, subscribe, and put a like on there. You can always see me on my TikTok in the description and tell you what my TikTok is. 
I normally tell how I'm feeling what's on my mind, and I do those type of videos over there where it's just, you know, um, just go over there and see and you'll understand. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Later.